Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning devotion. Today is Tuesday and we are so glad that by the grace of God we can go on and study His Word. And grateful to God that you are all uh, well and the Lord always protect you. So come and join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, we are grateful today for your faithfulness and for your love. As we come to you, we ask for your forgiveness from all our sins and shortcomings. Cleanse us with the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. His blood sacrifice is sufficient for our forgiveness. We pray that the Holy Spirit will speak to us, enlighten us, and reveal truths from the Word of the Lord. Because the truth will set us free. So I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, for everyone, and let faith arise in their heart. Thank you, Father. This we ask in prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Today, our text is in the book of Genesis, chapter 22, uh, verses 2 to 14. Let us read. God said, Take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. So Abraham rose early in the morning, saddled his donkey, and took two of his young men with him and his son Isaac. And he cut the wood for the burnt offering and arose and went to the place of which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place from afar. Then Abraham said to his young men, Stay here with the donkey. I and the boy will go over there and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on Isaac his son. And he took in his hand the fire and the knife. So they went, went both of them together. And Isaac said to his father, Abraham, my father. And he said, Here I am, my son. He said, Behold, the fire and the wood. But where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Abraham said, God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering, my son. So they went both of them together. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built the altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar, on top of the wood. Then Abraham reached out his hand and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham, and he said, Here I am. Do not lay your hand on the boy or do nothing to him or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God seeing you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him was a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called the name of that place, The Lord Will provide as it is said to this day on the mount of the lord it shall be provided so in verse 14 so abraham called the name of that place the lord will provide praise god the lord will provide in this time of ours we don't have an assurance that our finances are stable and secure. 
many company shut down and businesses slow down and many people lost job as this situation continues people filled with anxiety they are feeling worry nervous and they feel for an uncertain outcome maybe you think of it but in this passages in this situation of Abraham he declared the Lord would provide my dear brothers and sisters in Christ in this time of pandemic the same God that provide for Abraham needs is the same God that will provide for your needs, for the needs of your family, for the needs of your loved ones. But there are truths in the Bible that we need to know how the Lord will provide for us and meet all our needs. So God put Abraham to the test. He wanted to see if Abraham was totally surrendered and would be obedient to him. God had given him a promised son, Isaac. Remember how old is he? How old is his wife, Sarah? But the Lord promised him that he will give him a son. And through whom God said, he would multiply Abraham's seed and make him the father of many nations. In verse 2, he said to Abraham, when God put Abraham to test, take your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. So, Abraham did not question God or argue with God. He did not doubt God. When God told him to do it, he did. So, Abraham built an altar laid the wood on it, bound Isaac, and placed him on the altar. Abraham took a knife and raised his hand to thrust into Isaac. But the angel of the Lord stopped him. How Abraham do that? By his faith, he trusts God fully. God honors Abraham's faith. We know that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. God, Abraham in the very beginning knew that God will provide. He knew it by faith that God will provide. Remember when he said to his servant, stay here and we will come back again. That's faith. So God honors Abraham's faith. In this time of anxiety and uncertainty, in times that we will be tested by God, as he tested Abraham to see if we are willing to obey him fully. He will ask you to give sacrificially to see if you are totally submitted to him or there are things that you hold on that you are unwilling to give him. 
I remember a mother with three children. We have no idea. He put an offering on the basket during our Sunday service. We have no idea that sister put everything he had, she had for the Lord. And do you know when she went home trusting that God will provide Someone came and knocked on her door. And what a surprise. It's one sack of rice, basket of groceries, good for one week. She testified about it. Then when we asked, why do you give everything and put it in the basket offering. She said, I heard in my spirit that I need it to do that. I need to do it to do it. And by faith she obeyed. And God honored her faith. And God provided for her needs for one week. The same thing when Elijah was told to go to the Sarepath and God told him that there is a widow that he provided for him to feed, that widow asked by Elijah. And Elijah said, prepare a meal for me and then eat the rest. But you know, that widow had only a couple of oil and flour. But she obeyed the word of the Lord from the mouth of the prophet. And when she gave it sacrificially, obeying the Lord by faith, wow, the Lord God Almighty provide for her until the famine ends. So we see, the Lord will provide for you. The Lord will provide for all your needs. But you need to do it in response by faith. God will put you a test. And sometimes you need to give sacrificially to the Lord. You know, David, David said, I will not give to God that it will not cost me nothing so my dear brothers and sisters praise god hallelujah remember god always responds to faith when you step out in faith to give sacrificially according to what he has directed god will meet you there remember he is jehovah jireh who will supernaturally provide your needs. So hold on to the word of the Lord. Anchor your lives to the word of God and give sacrificially by faith and then believe that God will supernaturally provide because the Lord will provide. Let us pray. Father, grateful and thankful to you that this time and situation of pandemic with anxiety and uncertainties everywhere. But thank you, O God, that we know you will respond to our faith and the Lord will provide for us for he will never leave us nor abandon us nor forsake us. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, let the faith of your people arise. Let their faith to you arise in the name of Jesus. Let them anchor their lives to your promises, O God. And let them give sacrificially 
and you will honor it and you will return it to them abundantly. Father, I pray for your divine protection for them. I pray for your divine protection for the loved ones. I pray, O Lord, for the provisions, O Lord, for their needs and finances. Grateful and thankful to you. Father, protect the company covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. And let the company, O Lord, be used as an instrument by God, O Lord, to provide for the employees. Father, thank you so much. We lift up to you the Jiang family, Captain Jiang and family. We pray for your divine protection. We pray for good health for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. And we declare, the Lord will provide. Thank you. To God be the glory, honor, and praises. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. So, the Lord bless you and keep you. Good morning. God bless.